Hello, this is Justin Williams Savoy, and I am looking at this book here called Preparing for the Lord's Supper, William Bradshaw and Arthur Hildersham, edited and introduced by Leslie A. Rowe. And this is uh, Sole Deo Gloria Publications, and uh, here is the ISBN number if you're interested, and it's an imprint of Reformation Heritage Books. Preparing for the Lord's Supper presents practical instruction from two Puritans. William Bradshaw's contribution explains the dangers of taking communion unworthily and how to prevent it. His work concludes with a set of questions to aid Christians in self-examination as they prepare for the Lord's Supper. Bradshaw's piece is supplemented with Arthur um, Hildersham's thorough catechal tool for understanding the properly partaking of the sacred meal. These treatises exemplify what Puritan ministers taught to common people in ordinary obscure towns and villages as they prepare to take the Lord's Supper. They are a similar challenge to us today to prepare ourselves thoughtfully and prayerfully before coming to the Lord's table. In the broadest sense, they supply a helpful guide for providing our faith through self-examination. As Bradshaw says, the duty of trying and examining a man's self is of use of the best Christians. Those questions and answers wherein Hildersham has comprised the doctrine of the Lord's Supper have been a singular good use to many poor souls for their worthy preparation to that ordinance. And in very deed, they do more fully furnish a Christian to the whole spiritual duty than any other in any language that I know. In so small a compass, John Cotton, 1628, on Hildersham's doctrine of communicating worthily in the Lord's Supper. Bradshaw's book, and that part of it is more especially wherein are laid down certain marks and signs of faith and repentance, has been, as far as I am able to deem, the only ground instrumental means of my conversion. Through the gracious cooperation of God's Spirit working powerfully and efficaciously upon my heart in the reading thereof. Thomas Foster, a 17th century Bedfordshire Mercer on Bradshaw's uh, preparation for the reviewing of the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. So, it's a pretty interesting book. Um, William Bradshaw graduated from the Cambridge University and quickly became the target for anti-Puritan authorities within the Church of England. He spent most of his ministry as a household chaplain for Alexander and Catherine Ridici. He preached regularly at the local church of Stappen Hill and was also engaged with Hildersham and others in the preaching exercises at Burton up upon Trent and Ashby. In addition to this devotional writings, Bradshaw published controversial works on justification, Puritanism, Episcopacy, Separatism, and Baptism. He died in London in 1618 at the age of 48. <clears throat> Arthur Hildersham, 1563 through 1632, completed his studies at Cambridge University and was invited to minister at Ashby de la Zouch, Linchestshire. In 1587, he was a ceremonial nonconformist and one of the main organizers of the Puritan millinery, millinery uh, petition pre presented to King James I in 1603. Hildersham suffered greatly for his Puritan convictions, being dismissed from preaching, excommunicated heavily, fined, and even sent to prison. In 1625, on the death of King James I, Hildersham was relicensed as a minister and was enabled to preach again in Ashby. He died on Sunday, March 4, 1632, and was buried two days later in the channel of St. Helen's Church, Ashby. Leslie A. Rowe, an associate fellow in the History Department of the University of Warwick, she has written several journal and magazine articles and is the author of The Life and Times of Arthur Hildersham, Prince Among Puritans. And here's a little blurb on Sole Deo Gloria publications. The mission of Sole Deo Gloria is to provide instruction and in righteousness to the church through the reprinting of classic Christian literature, 
To that end, the focus is our publishing is the writings and sermons of Puritans. So they... Deo Gloria Publications, and here is the address. It's Reformation Heritage Books. Take a quick look at this table of contents here. And I'm not going to really do much else. I just wanted to make a very short video. Um, I'm taking a look at some um, Reformed type of theology um, right now, but I'm also taking a look at some Roman Catholic theology um, and some stuff um, corresponding to the Oxford movement and what's not. Now, that might not be everyone on my channel's cup of tea, but rest assured that I will resume with pr plenty of uh, perennial philosophy, traditionalism, um, all kinds of things that should be interesting. Um, right now, I am doing some theological studies, so I'll be looking at a lot of theological books, um, things of that nature, but I'll try to um, sprinkle in some variety. Um, I'm also working on this kind of new setup here and going to be making a variety of videos with some different cameras and different technology. I might look at some older books on websites such as that are like, you know, um, like Internet Archive and things like that. Ones that are um, <coughs> um, they're able to be freely accessed and used um, for fair use and whatnot. Um, my mind just went blank for the word that I'm looking for. But um, really out in the public domain, that's what I want to say. And so I'll probably maybe screen record and look at some of those. And um, I'm just resuming my studies and my scholarship um, and particular interests of mine. But I will be also making videos about classics and um, things like that. Um, Greek, Latin primarily, but... Uh, more um, looking at different books from my library and my particular interests at any given time. So, hey, subscribers, thank you so much. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please like, subscribe, support. And um, I'm just kind of working out some little um, kinks in this uh, new way that I want to make videos in this location, which is kind of in my living room and my home. Then I have my home study and I'm reorganizing all of that. There's a lot of stuff that's been, I'm getting moving around and trying to make uh, set up. Um, then that way, when this next winter approaches, we'll be ready to dive deep into a lot of book reading, a lot of coffee drinking and other fun, good stuff. So I just wanted to give this camera a test and quickly look at this book and say hi and check in with you all. All right. This is Justin Williams Savoy. Peace.